Hi friends, this is Amit Kumar. Welcome to another session of Pinstech Solution. So in the last session, I shown you how to create multi-dimensional analysis and uh, a cyclic group chart. Okay. Now today, I'm going to show you a drill down chart. This is also multi-dimensional analysis. We will be using multiple dimensions here. So, but it would be a drill down chart. So what happens in the drill down chart? What is the benefit of drill down chart is you can basically make a slicing and dicing of the huge set of data to a very bottom level. Say I'm, I'm watching a report on yearly, yearly, yearly report. Okay. Now then I can go down to see them into uh, quarterly and then again I can go down to see them into month wise then uh, week wise and so on to the below so this is how a multi-dimensional analysis with a drill down chart can be done so let's begin I have this master item tab here you can go for creating a new custom dimension and here there is an option to create a drill down chart okay in the last session i shown you how to create a single custom dimensions however here i will create a drill down custom dimension okay so friends i need to check with the data if the data is a very higher level then i can skip the uh, higher level data in the top and then intermediate data into the bottom and then so on to the bottom so uh, let's see first of all i will check with this i have couple of cust i have i have to select a table here say uh, this one customer so first of all i will add the customer detail to this field which is a very higher level data so against a single customer you would have multiple uh, orders okay now i will just add the customer here so this is sub dsc which is a customer field here i'll just add it to this now i have added the customer i'll just name it as The next is order number. So I just choose this order table. Uh, I have the order number. So individual customer has multiple orders. So I'll just add here order number, which is the second level data. Okay. If I select one customer, you will have number of orders, and in a single order, you will have multiple items. Okay. Or multiple units of item and if you go on a single unit you'll be having multiple items then in a single item you'll have multiple quantities and values so i'll have to make the data in such a way first of all i've added customer then the delivery order number and then i have to choose i have to choose unit sorry I have to choose this table I have to OM unit and then I have order number sorry item which is the next level data okay so how many fields I have added here friends I have added customer and then order number and then this thing your uh, unit and description so i can again debate also in to the customer i can also add uh, here in this order table i have this order order uh, date so i just can add this one and before the order number i'll just keep it the date so and then the date can be broken into month i will just take this in a way as month okay so this is come a month now I have, I have basically customer month, then um, so let's let's do one thing here. Let's 
take the month to the extreme top okay i'll see the month wise data first then customer then i can drill into the order numbers then i can drill into the units then i can drill into items so i have a huge set of you know drill down uh, dimension i've created so i'm going to give this drill down group name as my okay order dd okay order dim dimension okay so i can give any uh, description or i can let it bank and then go to add the dimension that's it then here in the measure i have to add friends a measure from that particular data set so the data set which i have here this revenue and sales is belongs to another data set i have to add this data set from the order detail table so i have this order detail table here and then i'll add couple of data a uh, couple of uh, measures here so this net amount is become the uh, my measure and then i'll choose the aggregation function i have to choose which is sum so this is become a calculated measure now this become a measure very simple so i can name it as all right net amount okay so or, or else i can just uh, name this as net sales okay that's it <laughs> done so i'm going to create this particular drill down chart by using this dimension and measure so you can see in this dimension uh, uh, you know set i have got this is a group this is not a single dimension but these are all the single dimensions okay so this group i have to add a to a particular chart so first of all i will create a bar chart here very simple and then i will add the dimension so you have multiple individual single dimension as well as a drill down dimension so this kind of icon uh, you know identifies that that it's a drill down dimension okay it's a drill down dimension and these are all the single level dimensions so you just add it here and add the measure from that particular data set for net cell so here we go now you can see the data which is uh, which is uh, showing here is not sorted in a proper way it is sorted by measure okay from the higher to lower it is sorted but i want to make the sorting by dimension i mean it should be shown as jan feb march and so on it's not like based on the data so how do i sort it i'll just select this chart and then there's a sorting option net cell which swing in the first level sorting i'll just make it to the second level sorting and make the dimension as a first level sorting so likewise month will be sorted accordingly and then um, customer names will be sorted alphabetically order numbers will be sorted uh, by their uh, number values accordingly they will be sorted and in the appearance i will also apply the appearance so here i have various options like in the presentation in general general appearance we can make it this like this horizontal or vertical and then um, uh, you can show it value on the data label so the values will be showing here and then go to color legends so you can basically make the color uh, of the chart based on the dimension or based on the dimensions or based on the measures okay or based on the expressions so let's make it as a by measure i have various type of uh, color settings okay so now it's become colorful like this so some mixture of the colors has been applied here all right now this is become a this is become a drill down chart now here i'm going to save this
okay now i have done okay friends so uh, let's see i am here in the month wise month label so i have to go to january i have to show the details so click here and click here on the green button on selection so you will be able to see january months data again to the next label so i have to see the march data so go next so it be able to see in the march there is one customer only okay go back so in january select this one it be able to see there are multiple uh, customers in this particular multiple orders in this month of january and then this order looks high you can just select them and go next you'd be able to see in this particular order there are multiple items okay so now you can also select this item and go deeper to see this item wise revenues so the data is data is are now hierarchical in this way you can go by month say month of may you select this you'd be able to see in the month of may i have only one customer you choose this one so i cannot go more deeper here all right Nice. In February, I have a customer. So wherever we have multiple customers, you can go inside here, and then in January you can be able to see multiple orders. Choose this order, and then go deeper. You'll be able to see multiple items, and choose this item, and you will be able to see the data. So you see how the data is hierarchical here. First is month, second is customer, third is delivery order number, fourth is the the unit and fifth is a description so the data is completely hierarchical so likewise here in this case we have uh, this particular chart which is showing uh, drill down i mean this is a drill down chart and this is a cyclic group we can see this quarter wise chart uh, quarter wise uh, you know uh, revenues big day wise revenues day wise revenues month wise revenue and but here in the same chart we are able to see multiple dimensions in a cyclic group however here we can go deeper inside this so it's become a drill down both are multi dimensional analysis first one is called as a uh, um, cyclic group and second one is a drill down chart so friends i hope you would have liked the video if you like the video please uh, like and subscribe in the channel so that i would be more encouraged to upload more number of superior videos every day for your kind information so thank you so much thanks for watching bye bye